In this video, we're going to show you how to fit a mixed effects model in ASRAML R4 using code generated by MMA. This tutorial follows on from the video Creating a Model in MMA, where we learned how to define a linear mixed effects model in MMA and generate executable code for ASRAML R4, R, NLME, and SAS. Before you can run the code in your selected package, you may need to perform some additional actions. For example, define the variable types, set options to deal with missing values, or sort your data into the order specified by the residual term. Let's find out how to fit our model in ASRAML R4. I'll demonstrate this using RStudio. I've put the hypertension.txt data file into a folder on my desktop called Hypertension Trial, so I'll set my working directory to this. Now we'll load the ASRAML library and read in the data set. This command creates a data frame called Data1 that contains the hypertension data. Let's view the structure of our data frame. Notice that the variables patient, visit, and center have been read into R as integers rather than factors. We'll convert these to factors using the as.factor function. In your R program, it's good practice to explicitly declare all the factors in your data set. Therefore, I'll apply the as.factor function to our other factor, treat, as well. When we again review the structure of data1, we can see that the variables have the correct type. Now, let's copy and paste the ASRAML R4 code generated by MMA into our studio. If we run the model as is, we will get an error. Errors occur whenever we have missing values in any of the explanatory variables. That is, missing values in any of the terms in the fixed, random, or residual models. Our dataset has missing dbp1 values. Missing data due to patient dropout is a common feature in many medical trials. However, we don't want to remove patients with incomplete records from our data set as we'd lose valuable information. One of the benefits of modeling repeated measures data using a mixed effects model is that we can use the information from patients with incomplete records. Let's open the ASRAML function help and find out what option we need to set to deal with the missing dbp1 values. By default, ASRAML is estimating missing values for the response, but reporting an error if there are missing values in the explanatory variables. As our model includes an explanatory variable with missing values, dbp1, we must instruct ASRAML to fill in the missing dbp1 values with its average as follows. This is equivalent to filling in the missing dbp1 values by hand with the average dbp1. We can't simply delete the rows with missing values from the dataset as ASRAML R4 defines the residual term using a Kronika product, and this needs to be complete. That is, there must be a row of data for each patient at every visit. Our model will now fit correctly. Before we move on to extracting useful output from our model, let's touch upon another very important action you may need to perform, sorting your data into the order specified by the residual term. The order of the data must match the residual term. As our model specifies this order, the data needs to be ordered by patient and visit within patient. Had we written it this way, 
the data would need to be ordered by visit and then patient. It is essential to check that the order of your data matches the residual term. If the order doesn't match, an error will result in most cases. However, sometimes the model will still run, resulting in an incorrect estimation. If the order of the data doesn't match the residual term, don't worry. R's order function enables us to sort the data. This command sorts the data frame, data1 by patient, and then visit. Now, let's extract some useful output from our model, which we've saved in an object called mma.asr. We can use the plot function to produce residual diagnostic plots. We should inspect this plot for evidence of departures from the residual assumptions of normality and constant variance. Our residuals look okay. There are potentially a couple of outliers but as we have no reason to believe they are due to erroneous data, we'll retain them in the analysis. The following commands display the variance components, the fixed and random effects, and wall tests for the fixed effects. Here we have the variance components, standard errors, component divided by standard error, boundary constraints, and the percentage change at final iteration. Scrolling down further, we have the fixed effects estimates, standard errors, and estimate divided by standard error. Further down, we have the random effects. Here are the estimates, standard errors, and the estimate divided by the standard error. Lastly, we have the output from the wall tests. Here are the numerator degrees of freedoms, denominator degrees of freedoms, incremental F statistics, and p-values. The default wall tests are incremental, meaning they are conditional on the order the terms appear in the table. For example, the test of the treatment by visit interaction represents the effect of adding this term to a fixed model already containing the intercept, the covariate DBP1, and the main effects for treat and visit. The wall test provides some statistical evidence of an interaction between the drug treatment and visit. That is, there is some evidence to suggest that the drugs have different effects over time. AS Remmel also offers conditional wall tests, which are produced by setting the SS type option to conditional. Let's output the predicted drug treatment by visit means and the standard errors of the differences. This is done using the predict function. Underneath the notes section are the columns of predicted means and standard errors. The standard errors of the differences are printed in a matrix. At the bottom, we have the minimum, mean, and maximum standard error of the difference. The means are associated with the rows and columns of the matrix according to their order in the table of means. That is, the standard errors of the differences associated with drug treatment A at visit 3 are found in row 1 or, as the matrix is symmetric, column 1. For example, the standard error of the difference for comparing the means of drug treatment A and B at visit 3 is found in row 1, column 5 of the matrix, or, alternatively, row 5, column 1, as the matrix is symmetric. You can learn more about performing mixed effects analysis using ASRML R in the reference manual, which you can access from the ASRML knowledge base. If you have any problems running your code in ASRML R4, please email us. We will support you to run the analysis.